some fools never learn it just seems like there is an unending source of people who want to start football teams and are willing to finance new alternative football leagues which is great for me as a fan of low cost high quality sports entertainment uh, I kind of understand that consistency although that is a part of the quality aspect of it is never going to be assured uh, and I say that because you know we have the United Football League now which uh, is ending its seating season kind of with a thud uh, it just seems like the excitement isn't there it doesn't seem like there's much marketing going on during the season and a lot of uh, people just aren't aware that their championship se season is coming up you know they're postseason is coming up uh, I think there's one more game left and they've got you know one or two teams really one team that's standing out that's doing great and that is the St. Louis Battle Hawks I hope that they are not uh, you know the worm on the hook to get back in the into the NFL to get St. Louis back in the NFL I uh, personally hope for the demise of the NFL I just think it's an overpriced uh, product that under delivers and totally disrespects its fans. I actually just got a copy today of uh, Vivek Ramaswamy's Woke Incorporated. Uh, you know, it, it, because the NFL used to really tell a story, and that story always included patriotism. That always in, included sort of a, uh, a a vision of what the what the teams were, and and that was a part of the appeal. But now it is totally woke. I mean, it is uh, the type of thing where they are overtly disrespectful of their fans. And the reason they're overtly disrespectful of their fans is they're bringing politics into everything. That said, uh, I think, you know, the Battlehawks specifically might survive uh, the implosion of the UFL if that happens. But there's another league out there that they could slide right into. That is the Alliance, uh, the uh, International Football Alliance which is going to have teams in five teams in America, three teams in Mexico to start. You know, will they will they ever play it down? Who knows? But uh, there's going to be the Huntsville Beavers. That's close enough to me that I could probably go see a game. There's the Tampa Bay Tornadoes. I would definitely be able to see one of their games. There's a lot of that going on. And uh, I just wanted to bring up a couple things from the world of indoor football. And because... Indoor football is so much smaller, so much more niche, and it's, I think, uh, so expensive that a lot of guys who want to play football, there's a, there's a lot of teams out there that are there to get guys film, that are there because guys want to play football, and that's great, but they're not there as a, uh, to, they're not driven by profit, and so they're, you're not looking at teams that want to get 20,000 people in a stadium or whatever. That said, uh, Todd Walkenhorst of the National Arena League said something on an interview with the Shady Sports Network. Those guys are doing great work, by the way. Please check them out. I've, I always put links to them on this channel. And please also uh, like and subscribe to this channel. We're very close to hitting a couple of milestones. I've spent some money on this particular YouTube channel, not because I think I'm going to make a million dollars, but because I think uh, I can grow this channel and do the things that I want to do with it. Again, I'm sorry to get off topic, but that includes getting clicks for our products, and we really appreciate every single click, including those of you that have gone to our community section and really gotten into our polls and that sort of thing. The more eyeballs I get here, the more I can do there, and you know, with that, I can spend some money on this. Anyway, that said, Todd Wilkenhorst was talking about how people all want a quality TV product, but it's very, very difficult. And he said a number, finally a number that I can kind of wrap my mind around. He said to get an ESPN quality production would be about $40,000. Now that's $40,000 a week. So if you're looking at a game of the week, I could see where that would be uh, really an overwhelming number for small leagues like this. But uh, if you're listening, Commissioner Walkenhorst or uh, Commissioner Fisher or anybody in any of these leagues, uh, I do think that there could be a centralized program. There could be uh, halftime shows, even if uh, some of it is pre-recorded. And you spend that money, you get some talent, you get some fairly recognizable talent. Again, I'm talking about everything from uh, Rob Schneider to, um, to well, just anybody. I, I mean, get a comedian and get 
people in that uh, maybe even people that are, are hawking something. I'm not talking about politicians, but I'm talking about, uh, you know, local celebrities that may have nothing to do with football, but would be entertaining. Of course, I'm a big fan of Elvira. To any schlocky horror thing, I would love to see that. It would definitely be doable. I know that the, uh, I think it is the predators who have the uh, halfway to Halloween ceremony. So he's talking about that number, and that means, you know, you and I, the fan, we got to go to a couple games. I mean, the commitment level that we have to have to support these niche sports, niche sports has got to be kind of there. Uh, this year, the Vibe played uh, volleyball here in Atlanta. I went to one game. I probably should have gone to two. It was not a great experience. It wasn't something that I really thought, wow, this is something that I can enjoy every week. I might want to be a season ticket holder or something. But I did notice their YouTube product as opposed to the IFL, which is probably the highest level uh, YouTube product right now or digital product, had about twice as many when they had one game on as uh, the IFL when they had a couple games on for any single game. So level of commitment, fans, uh, at least watch some games on YouTube, at least try to get to a game if you can. And that brings me to, uh, again with the silly season, again with more people trying to play alternative football, there's going to be the Midwest Arena Football League, which uh, right now is just a Facebook page. It doesn't, I don't think they even have a website, but they do have the Indiana Enforcers whom have played uh, in a lot of different leagues. They've been around for a long time. They went dark once or twice, but they're still there. And um, they are going to have the St. Paul Bears, the Ohio Sharks, the Michigan Thunder, which I think are using the old Orlando Prowlers of the AF2, their logo, uh, the Detroit Lumberjacks, the Adrian Silverbacks, the Indiana Cobras, and some others. And then, you know, you've got the Arena League, which I can't say has never played a snap now. The Harbor Monsters had a game, I think it was against the Dallas Falcons, whom are now becoming the Dallas Wolves, which implies to me that they are rebranding. Now, you can only have so many uh, fan-friendly teams in Dallas. They've got a lot of teams there in Dallas. But maybe, you know, maybe they're getting some financing. Maybe they're setting themselves up to be something somewhere soon. And they had that game, it looked like they had a pretty good turnout, or at least, you know, upwards of expectations. They start play next week, and uh, they are they have already announced that they're going to have a team next year in Arkansas and another one in Wisconsin, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, I think it is. So for me, that's fun to watch. I wonder what you all think. Uh, thank you again for all of the likes and clicks, especially those of you that have gone into our our community section please do like and subscribe we're about to hit some benchmarks here it helps me my purpose with this channel is one to you know get out the message for these alternative sports leagues and also to drive clicks to my products so when you do that it really helps even if you don't buy anything it helps because it drives clicks to my products i get more attention and then we will slowly slowly be able to spend some more money basically on this and that helps that and everybody wins. Thanks again and have a great day.